Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 13th CSS animation tutorial and in this video we're going to go through another example. This time we're going to make some rotating panels using CSS animations. Alright then dudes, so as you can see what I've got open here is the panels.html file and that's in the rotate examples folder and uh, they've also got open this style.css as well. So open those two up and let me just scoot this in so you can see what's going on. And uh, basically we've got all these panels right here and it looks like a bit of junk at the minute but we are going to make it look pretty cool and apply some neat hover effects. And um, basically this is just a UL with a class of panels right here and in the UL we've got these series of LI tags, right? Now each LI tag essentially uh, kind of contains one panel and each panel has got a front and a back. So the front is a div with a class of front and the back is a div with a class of back and there's different text on each one. So we've got that for each kind of colour, yeah? And you'll notice I've made the colour of the back each time a little bit lighter than the front, just so the hover effect when we apply it is a little bit kind of um, nicer. All right. So then, the idea is that we want to hide this back panel to begin with, kind of scoot it up behind the front one, yeah? And then when we hover over the front one, we want it to appear to twirl around and then show us the back of the card, essentially. That's the kind of effect we're going for. So how the hell are we going to do this? Well, let's scoot over to the styles.css and see what's going on over here. So this is all pretty standard stuff to begin with. Uh, you can see I'm styling the wrapper, the panels, the LI tags. Each LI tag has got a width of 25%, which is why there's four in a row. Um, they're all being floated left. And also these div tags inside the LIs, which are these two things here, front and back, they are styled so they've got 100% width, padding 50% top and bottom, just so they look like a square. And um, yeah, all kind of basic stuff. So what we're gonna do is start styling these up now and prepare them for the animation to begin with. So I said the first thing what we wanna do is hide this back card. We want it to appear be, uh, behind this front card so that when we hover over it, then it shows the back, right? So the way I'm gonna do that is by using the rotate um, property, the rotate Y property, so that it rotates 90 degrees and we can't see it because when we rotate something across the Y, around the Y axis rather, um, then when we get it to 90 degrees, it's gonna look so thin we can't even see it on the screen, okay? Because this is a flat 2D object. And if we rotate a flat 2D object 90 degrees, then we can't see it, technically. All right, so let's go after this panel then. So I'll need to say panels div.back, because that's the back panel. And then I'm just gonna apply a transform to it. Rotate Y and I'm gonna say 90 degrees. And now you're gonna see all of those back panels vanish. Yeah, and like I said, that's because we've rotated them around the Y axis, which is going down. And when you rotate a 2D object around the Y axis, 90 degrees, when it was kind of face on to begin with, you can no longer see it. So if we just change this to like 88, you're gonna see something very thin, okay? So as it increments towards 90, it gets thinner until 90, it's pretty much non-existent at all. You can't see it, but it is still there, okay? So now what we want to do is kind of move it up behind this front panel. And the way we're going to do that is by positioning this front panel absolutely. Because when we position something absolutely, we're taking it out of normal document flow. So then anything that was underneath it kind of zooms up to take the place that this front one did have in normal document flow. So this back one is going to zoom up behind this front one. Yeah. So let's go after the front one. Panels div dot front. And then what we want to do is say position absolute. Take it out of normal document flow so the other one scoots up behind it. So now what we've got is the front panel showing and we've got the back panel behind it but that's rotated on the Y axis 90 degrees so we can't see it anyway. So what we want to do when we hover over one of these things, right? Essentially what we want to do is animate this rotate Y uh, value here to zero degrees. So the back one kind of rotates back in. But at the same time, we want to rotate this front one along the Y axis from zero to 90 degrees. So that one's rotating out and the back one's rotating in at the same time as the front one is rotating out. And that gives the kind of effect that the card is flipping over. So I'm going to show you that now. First of all, let's make our keyframes and we'll call this animation um, 12. All right, and then at 0%, 
what we are going to say is that we want to do a transform and it's going to start off at um, rotate y zero degrees like that so it's going to start off at zero degrees and then when it gets to 100 percent we're going to do the same thing again transform rotate y to 90 degrees okay so if you can think about this when we hover over one of these cards we're going to apply this animation to the front of them so we're going to transform them from zero degrees rotation across the y-axis which it currently is to 90 degree rotation around the y-axis so that'll make it pretty much invisible it'll get shorter and shorter and shorter until it's invisible okay um, so let's apply that right now we'll say panels li hover because we want the hover effect div dot front because we're just going to apply this to the front panel to begin with and then we're going to say animation and it's called twirl we're going to take about 0.2 seconds to do this and we'll say ease in make it seem a little more natural and then we want to say forward so that it ends up in the same place it doesn't kind of revert back once the animation's finished okay so now we want to do something similar for the back panel let's copy that and paste the same one down below and this time we want to change this to back like so and also instead of going from 0 to 90 degrees we want to go the opposite way around because it's already 90 degrees we want to go from 90 to 0 so that the back one is kind of flipping in so all we need to say is reverse right here but this is not quite right yet. We need to do just a couple more things to make it look better because at the minute it doesn't look very natural, this twirl effect, okay? And the first thing we need to do is put a delay on this one because we want the forward one to kind of rotate out first of all and then we want the back one to rotate in to make it look more natural. So we'll say there's a 0.2 second delay on this back one, right? So that after this one rotates out, then this one rotates in. So now when we hover over, in fact, I'm also going to make this ease out because that's the opposite of ease in. And when we rotate over one of these dudes now, it looks a little more natural. It looks like the card is turning over. OK, so there we go, guys. That's how to make some flip cards using CSS animations. Any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, I'm going to see you in the very next tutorial.